How's it going, Akutami and the rest of the Mafia? Welcome to day 29 of the vlog. So we got today, tomorrow, and then the 30-day vlog series is over. I'm kind of getting nostalgic over my own series, which seems a little narcissistic, but it's been fun. I, I like spending time with you guys. Honestly, th this whole vlogging experiment wasn't meant to actually get views or subscribers. I was serious when I wanted the channel to get a thousand subscribers, but kind of come to terms with that goal never happening. I woke up this morning in Charlotte, North Carolina. From here, I'm gonna go spend some time with my aunt, who I haven't seen in years. I'm of course gonna go get my workout in. And lastly, I did a video a few weeks ago where I reviewed a one-star airline. So today I'm gonna be reviewing a five-star airline and seeing if it really is worth the extra money or if we should all just be buying Spirit Airlines flights. You know what I mean? Maybe it's worth a discount. Today we're gonna find out. All right, we just left the house with my family. Wholesome times, very cozy and comfortable. However, we're not gonna be cozy and comfortable for long. Isn't that right, Alex? We are headed to AKA the gym. We have one hour to work out and then we have to make it back to the airport so that we can fly back to Los Angeles tonight and start a productive Monday first thing tomorrow morning. Lifetime fitness, baby. <laughs> YouTube recommended you this video. Welcome to my secret channel. I'm actually bringing back daily vlogging on this channel. I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days. There's actually a whole series of videos on the channel you can go watch of me flying around and grinding my face off to make the best YouTube videos for you guys on my main channel. After this video, you should go back and watch the other videos and join the Arak Mafia, which reminds me to ask you guys to please not subscribe. This channel is only for my hardcore Mafia members. If you don't come back and watch the video every single day, like and comment. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to subscribe here. This is a sacred place for my most hardcore community. So on day nine of the vlog, I did this video where I rated a one-star airline, which was one of my favorite airlines, American Airlines. But I told you guys if I'm ever traveling by myself or in a smaller group, which we are, I booked Delta for comfort. Now, if I'm flying by myself, I'm absolutely flying Delta. Delta, on the other hand, is a five-star airline. Flight attendants are always nicer. The planes are always comfortable. There's always more leg room but the tickets are always like 30% more expensive. So the goal for today is to find out is it actually worth an additional four stars of experience. All right, we're boarding flight number one out of two. We have a layover in Atlanta, my hometown. Speaker's talking over me, let's just get on the plane. I'm waiting for Alex and Doha to come running down this hall because if they don't, soon they're not gonna make it back to Los Angeles with me. There he is. That's one of them. Here he comes, sprinting to the gate. Gonna break the floor. We basically held up the flight until the last possible second and they were so nice to us. Already off to a great start on the rating. How many stars are you gonna give to the boarding? Bro, that was like a five star boarding. That was awesome. Bro, oh. that's a 10 out of 10 gap. I think that's the best gap I've ever seen. I'm not even lying. asleep that entire flight. I have a layover though, so I have a do-over. Let's try this again. What's up? How you doing? One of the main benefits of flying Delta and having an Amex card is that you can get into this Delta lounge. You ever been to a Delta lounge? No. They're awesome. Yeah. Let's grab a picture real quick. Oh. You guys have probably seen me in those lounges throughout the series. It makes traveling twice as enjoyable. There's free food, alcohol, which I obviously would never touch. Coffee, snacks. You can even take a nap in there between layovers. Giant benefit of flying Delta all the time. We're gonna be reviewing Delta based on the same five metrics we used to review American, which are the check-in process, baggage and boarding, ticket price, flight and crew, and in-flight services. Let's start with ticket price. I will say I bought these tickets last minute for three people, and I think I spent three thousand five hundred dollars on tickets which is a little over a thousand dollars a ticket which is absolutely insane those are regular economy tickets so it is expensive i've had a great experience getting one i'm paying with delta but i'm gonna give it a three out of five stars any thoughts on delta airlines i mean i like them it's not bad out here in the airport today okay what about you thoughts pretty all right pretty all right out of five stars would you give delta i give them a 4.5 they got the tvs it's pretty nice yeah i agree they got the chargers on the plane so not much more i gotta continue my investigation good to meet you guys flight and crew we've actually dealt with uh, delta flight and crew before they're always sweet they're always having a good time i'm gonna give the flight crew a five out of five stars what are your thoughts on delta airlines i'm doing an investigation uh i was just on a 13 hour flight from where japan how was it amazing was it delta yeah how many stars out of five three it's very tiny that's a tough start what do you guys rate i give it like a four, a four. why why higher than hers the bathrooms were clean i thought they were good thank you for your contribution to my investigation no problem this is serious work really yeah it's really hard grueling work but somebody's got to do it am i right all right bye guys now 
Let's check out the baggage and boarding process. Yeah, can you take talk? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank Great you. to meet you. Cool. Check-in process, seamless. Time after time, even on video for this channel, I've had Delta Airline check-in staff be like above and beyond nice to me. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. All of them. It's so nice to be here. What were we thinking of the flight? Dude, my back destroyed. Better or worse than American Airlines? Kind of same, bro, honestly. It's not the best. Even my seat was broken. Your seat was broken? Yeah. Did you get clips of it? I had, yeah, I have, I have had the worst experience, honestly. Wait, actually? It was yeah. bad. Your seat was broken, huh? It was like this, moving yeah. all the time. Delta's an Atlanta airline. I think the vibes are way better on Delta and in-flight services. The TVs were like super old, but they had free streaming Wi-Fi. That was a big one. That's very premium. Tons of leg room, lots of baggage space. Free streaming Wi-Fi, not for everyone though. Just yeah, for the members. No, I tried to use it, it didn't work. I, I think you're biased. I, stream, I streamed Netflix the entire time. I wasn't even logged in as a member. Yeah. I streamed Netflix I've, the entire time. I bought it, I couldn't get logged in either. Really? Yeah. I think you're a member, that's why. You think I'm a member? And you're biased as well. It's 4.5 star airline, guys. It's a 4.5 star airline. Bro, it's too high, that's too high, that's too high. I'm just aggregating No, you're stars. biased. I'm gonna give it a solid four stars out of five. Maybe 4.5. It's too high, bro. Four, four, four stars out of five. So high. I would give it three. I'll give Doha the last word of the vlog. Three star out of five, no, please. No, five is too high. No. I want you to go to Japan and see the real five star service. How many likes? How many likes? Maybe, that, maybe that's on the next vlog series. Uh?